Hey there, welcome back to Reddit Dating, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. Now, let's get into the video. In November, girlfriend 22 female slept with bartender 31 male at a work party. She finally broke down and told me everything today, claiming she had been taken advantage of. I'm feeling ill and don't know what to do. Do you think this is a form of deception? Background I, 24-M, have been dating my girlfriend, 22-F, for over three years. We do not share a residence. We were both living at our parents' houses while at university, but I recently graduated and now live on my own with a roommate. She still lives with her mother, but we've spoken about moving in together. I work full-time in an office and she attends classes while also working part-time in a restaurant. She started this employment in early November after being recommended by a friend. She complained that despite the fact that she was in a relationship, several male staff members persistently flirted with her and made inappropriate jokes. This includes the bartender, 31-M, at the restaurant. The workers held their annual Christmas party at the restaurant in late November, just a few weeks after she started. Because the restaurant is closed on Tuesday mornings, it was on a Monday night. My partner was also going to be house-sitting slash dog-sitting for a buddy later that week. She was required to feed the dog every day and was permitted to stay overnight if she so desired, starting Tuesday. We were discussing how we both felt it was hot to be at someone else's place and how we planned to have a few wild nights when we had the chance. This is my side of the tale. The night of the party, I stayed at home. I was told it was strictly for staff, no significant others, and I had work in the morning, so I had no trouble staying in. I dropped off my girlfriend and texted her throughout the night. Around 11 p.m., I informed her I was going to bed and bid her good night. I was still awake for another hour or two, but based on her texts, she was fairly inebriated and having a regular conversation was tedious, so I didn't want to text any more. I texted her the next morning and didn't hear back until around 2 p.m. when she told me she was severely hungover and had slept the entire day. Despite the fact that her mother's house was just around the corner from the restaurant, she stated she chose to go to the dog sitting house a day early because it was on the way to the bar where some people went after the party. The homeowners apparently left early Monday night. Later that night, we hung out and she showed me images from the party. I was offended when I realized that most folks had brought their significant partners. When I asked her about it, she stated that she didn't believe we were meant to be invited and that I shouldn't have worried because I had work the next day anyway. We had a brief squabble, but nothing major. We were happy for the following few days and on Thursday night I proposed we go over to the dog sitting house together. She began acting strangely and stated that she didn't want to do that anymore, but that we could hang out at my house. We did that, watched some television, and I attempted to initiate. She declined, claiming that I was being too forceful, and then went home. I was frustrated since I didn't believe I had done anything wrong. More of the same for the next two weeks or so. No, which resulted in irritation and stupid arguments about little matters. She began her tests in mid-slash-late December, and her stress level was through the sky. Finally, once she finished her examinations, we went to a party, returned home together, and had a good time. It had been around three weeks, and we used to meet five times a week. We continued having a lot of over the Christmas holiday, but things still didn't feel right. There were numerous disagreements. We both returned to work slash school, and it felt like there was a new disagreement every day. And today. We were arguing about something, whether or not her friend calling me Garfield was disrespectful, and trying to figure out how to fix it. I remarked offhandedly that these minor squabbles shouldn't worry me so much because she hadn't cheated on me. Then she burst into tears. She began sobbing and confessing that she had made a major mistake at the Christmas party. She stated she couldn't bear telling me and wanted to commit suicide. Her point of view. I forced her tell me what happened when the tears stopped. I was irritated and angry because she basically admitted to me that she had cheated on me a month and a half ago and had tried to disguise it. This is her perspective. Because she has little recollection of the night, most of it is put together from her messages and what her co-workers told her. 
The celebration was open bar, and she and her friend spent the majority of the night at the bar. The bartender was another employee who had agreed to forego drinking for the night in order to serve everyone else. He started bringing her beverages she hadn't even asked for halfway through the night. She accepted them because she was having a nice time. She eventually became completely inebriated, despite the fact that it was still early in the evening. She had no recollection of me texting her goodnight at 11 p.m. She texted the dog sitting service at midnight, wondering if she could come over that night. Of course, there was no response because they were on an international flight somewhere. Everyone drank till around 12.30 a.m. The bartender transported a group of people from the party to a pub at 1 a.m. He returned to the party to transport the final carload of guests to the bar. Everyone else had returned home by this point. Except for my girlfriend, he dumped everyone at the bar. He told the others he'd drive her home, but they all went back to the dog-sitting house together. I don't recall the specifics of what happened next. She did, however, send a snapshot to their work group chat at 3 a.m. It consists of her, the bartender, and a dog in a bed. Although you could only see their shoulders, they were clearly shirtless. She added a remark that read, I hope everyone has a great time. I'm sure we are. She claims she has no recollection of what happened. She awoke around lunchtime on Tuesday, astonished that she wasn't in her own bed. When she got up, the bartender wasn't there, and there was no sign of him. She assumed she had planned to go out to the bar later, which is why she requested to remain at the dog-sitting house rather than her own. She apparently didn't find out what had happened until Thursday, when she was speaking with a friend. She was shown the image she had sent, which had subsequently become buried in the group conversation. She still claims she has no recall of anything, and that she was terrified and didn't know what to do. That's why she refused to accompany me to that place, and why things between us became so strange. She claims she didn't want to inform me, because she wanted to deny it to herself. There has been a lot of yelling and weeping since learning the truth today, and I'm currently home alone. These are my thoughts. First and foremost, I believe she was taken advantage of. She was completely inebriated, whereas the bartender was not, and significantly older. Her employees all agreed that the bartender informed them he was dropping her off at home and feeding her free drinks all night. I also feel she didn't recall it at first because there was a noticeable mood shift on Thursday, which corresponds to when she stated she found out. However, even if she was drunk, I can't help but think she was willing. I'm hurt, and it feels like I've been dumped. It's not like the bartender dragged her home and abused her. She worked out how to find a spot to go with him and appeared really happy in the photo. Why does it still feel like a ruse? I was told I wasn't invited to the party since everyone else brought their significant others. She had access to the dog-sitting house a day earlier than I had anticipated. She brought the key to the dog-sitting house to her work party, despite the fact that it was immediately next to her mother's house. The bartender has been openly flirting with her for weeks. She didn't tell me what happened for nearly a month and had planned to keep it a secret for the rest of her life. In rage, I told her that if this wasn't cheating, she'd been assaulted. And that if we don't press charges, we need to make sure the bartender loses his job. She sobbed once again and refused to do either. She isn't willing to report him for anything and can't prove she didn't want it because she can't remember the night. What are your thoughts? I'm an emotional wreck right now, and I'm finding it difficult to be sensible. Do I need to set my emotions aside and sympathize with her as a victim? Or is she a liar? Before this, everything was okay and I had hoped to spend the rest of my life with this girl. Update. I spoke with her again today and told her that there were too many coincidences that made it appear as though she planned it. I told her I needed some time to think about it, but I didn't think I'd be able to get over it. I know that drawing this out is probably not the greatest way to manage anything, but when you're the one involved in a situation like this, reasoning goes out the window. There are, however, a few updates worth highlighting. We looked at the photo again, and it appears that the bartender took it. She only sent two coherent messages after I said goodnight, one to the homeowners and one in the group chat with the photo. During this time, she sent a couple other stupid texts to a non-work friend. 
She gave me an earlier message in which her friend stated that the party was strictly for staff. She said she had only messaged the bartender through the work group chat. She gave me his unaccepted Facebook and Snapchat invites and claimed she didn't even have his phone number. She was willing to let me use a recovery program to establish they had never messaged, but I declined. She'd been carrying the key on her keychain since she got it from the homeowners, like a week in advance. She is so certain of this that she was examining images she took of her odometer reaching 100,000 miles to see if her keys were visible, but there was no confirmation. She stated that she was willing to report the bartender to work for harassment, but she was still hesitant to seek charges. She still went ahead with it and kept it a secret from me, so even if her narrative is absolutely true, I'm not sure I can move on. Update 1. I've decided to stand with my partner and support her while we work through this. I'm not going to pretend that everything is good, and I'm not going to promise that we'll get through this. To be honest, I don't think we will. But we've been together for three years, and I believe her when she tells me what happened. Even though she didn't manage everything appropriately that night, I believe she is a victim. I'm going to be there for her and attempt to figure out the whole story. I've read every single remark on this page. I was responding to many people with information in these updates, but there are way too many people to answer to. The majority of the top comments were made early on and are eager to tell me to break up. Whether you read the rest, you'll notice that they're probably split 60 40ths on whether she set it all up or if she was assaulted. To everyone who says she should break up with me because of how I've handled this thus far. Please try to comprehend how emotionally draining this journey has been for both of us. She came to me and admitted that she had made a mistake and that it was her fault. And she kept it hidden for nearly a month. I only found out about all of this yesterday and I freaked out.